have been part of the local open fires such as Ash and Seal, Brandon, both of the local fighters. Yeah, man, how about your fighting style? Like, well, how are you in the ring? Like, what, how do you fight? I'm a slick fighter. I fight similar to Floyd or John Sykes style. <laughs> personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm you big stiff idiot. All right, Brennan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with uh, Catch the Fade, Ethan yeah. Smith, man. Catch I, the fade. I, it's, good to, it's good to interview you again, man. I, I did like your first interview like seven years ago, so yeah. I feel kind of old now. You're about to turn pro. Yeah, boys way deeper now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but but talk to people, man. Like uh, since I last interviewed you was in 2017. Yeah. you've done a lot. You know, you've been highly decorated amateur. Uh, yeah. uh, what, what's your amateur background? Um, I got ten national titles. We got four junior Olympics, a uh, couple qualifiers, but most importantly, I got the international gold. Especially after my coach passing, so it was like uh, it was an honor to even be on the team. But it was just an amazing experience in general. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned uh, your coach passing away, uh, Arthur Williams, you know, former uh, IBF Cruiserweight champion. I had, I had a chance to meet him when, when you were training with him. Yeah. Uh, what was his influence like on just not just your boxing career, but just your life? He was just like a, another father figure. I mean, I got a, I got a pops, obviously, but he was just like, he was more than just a coach. Like, he was a teacher, but he was family for me. Like, he'll call you regular, just on the regular. It don't even have to be about boxing. He was just... Just call you, check up on you, joke around. You know, he was just a, he was a good person in general. All, all he around. Cared, and he cared for a lot of people that he shouldn't even care for. But he just, he always put his, um, as much as effort as he could into other people. Yeah. Got, got guys like that are, are what makes the sport of boxing, you know, what yeah. it is, you know? My nigga Ethan Smith is fulfilling <laughs> Arthur Williams' dream right now on the Olympic team. I mean, everything. God yeah. damn. I mean, I, I've seen him beat up some real veterans. Like, yeah. what the fuck? He's gonna be on the movie screen with me soon, guys. Like, uh, I, I believe you. Soon. Oh, good be good to see you again, Akeem, by the way. I, I, I interviewed you a while ago, a while ago, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he mentioned he mentioned you, you know, uh, beating up a lot of veterans and stuff like that. I seen yeah. you, you guys, you've been getting some world class work out here in Vegas. I get like a lot of world class work, and they lucky I don't have a camera on. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but that, <laughs> that ain't even important. I don't, I don't do all that. I got yeah. you, I got you. Well, yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get into like you know how you did in sparring, but uh, I, I wanted to just ask you like what was it like sparring Tim Zoo because you know he's a top guy. That was good work, cause I sparred him when I was out of shape. I sparred him four rounds, but yeah, I, I did get tired a little bit. But I did, I was doing good until I got tired. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I did, I did good until I got tired. I yeah, started, mm, started putting a lot more pressure. It looked like I was helping him for that um that Tony Harrison fight. So you did it. Me and him, we both had similar styles. So it was good, good, uh, a good look for him, you know. Yeah, to, good look for him. Okay. okay. But I, I think I did the best with him out of everybody that sparred him throughout that camp. That's what people are telling me. They say he usually stops everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I never seen him spar, so I would, yeah. I would have known. But uh, what, what was like? The, was there anything that surprised you about his style, Tim Zoo? He was just he's so calm. Yeah. He just so relaxed. Like nothing really phased him. He just breaks you down slowly. Like that's the type of fighter he is. I think he'd be Charlo. Yeah. In my opinion. I think yeah. He'd be Charlo. I think so. Uh, what, what about him Crawford? Because uh, that, that, that might be a fight that happens in the future. Crawford's different. Yeah? Crawford's different. <laughs> no, I don't think nobody Crawford anytime soon. You think Crawford will retire uh, on VN? Maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you fight Canelo, no. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, with you, man, like, going back to, you know, your, your, your style, right? Like, I, how, how, how would you classify your style? I know you're tall and you're rangy. Yeah. Is, is that, would you say that's your style, like a tall range outside fighter? Or? I got so much tricks in the bag, like people never even seen. Yeah, I box people, but if I really want to, I could sit in the pocket and bang with you and make you miss all at the same time. Yeah. Like, that's just another side of people that ain't seeing me yet. But as far as this pro debut fight, I'm gonna start off boxing. I'm gonna break him down slowly. Not slowly. Actually, I'm gonna get him out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no point in letting him stick, um, stick around with me because he ain't on my level. Yeah. So we're gonna get him out there like second round. Yeah. Where, where you fighting at? Uh, Utah. Okay. Utah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as like yeah, your weight class, what weight class you turning pro at? I'm supposed to be fighting at 60. This fight's at 68. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, middleweight's gonna be your weight class. You feel? Yeah. 
I think that's good for me to fight at 60. Sure. 160 could definitely use some some uh, an injection of talent at the top. You know, it's not really the best weight class right now. I know, and I'm more I'm more entertaining than a lot of people. Like, I'm really like in the ring, like I'm really a showboat. I don't think a lot of people might like that, but that's that's just my style. Like, nobody seen me really showboat on the amateurs. I took it. I think I took amateurs too seriously. But like, I'm similar to like you know Ben Whitaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I got similar styles. I did some crazy stuff in the ring. People ain't, I hit people with a 360 punch. I did all types of stuff. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Was that the craziest thing you ever did in the ring? Was that, what, what, what do you think is the craziest thing you ever did in the boxing ring? Like? 360. I had dropped on my back. I came back up and hit the dude. Was that, was that like a clip on that went viral? Was that you in that clip? It was like a clip that, no, no. Okay. They didn't let me record, man. <laughs> if they would have let me record, I would have been viral. Yeah, so yeah. so you're saying that all the viral moments are gonna be saved for when you're actually on TV. All my viral moments I could have had has never been recorded, Damn. but they're gonna see soon. When I fight on TV, they all gonna see. Okay. I ain't holding back on that. I nah. got so much tricks, man. Nah, I can't I can't wait to see it, man. Cause yeah. I feel like I feel like I'm really invested in see how you do. Cause I've been you know since you were a kid, I've been seeing you know yeah. you from afar. Do yeah. your thing. The haters gonna see. That's what they gonna do. They for sure gonna see. I'm gonna be on their TV screen. Oh, <laughs> I know you rap a little bit. You got bars. You got yeah, bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Ethan, I know you got to train. I don't, don't want to hold you up. Uh, is, is there any final message you want to give to the fans of the boxing world just about your pro debut and your career? No, nah, I'm just going to be a world champion. Everybody going to see all the doubters and all the haters. That's they, all I got to say. There you go. Ethan, Ethan Smith, you can catch the fit of catch these hands. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.